Hi, my name is Christian Tevish. I'm a professor here at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Welcome to my course, an introduction to operations management. Now think about the last time that you went to a restaurant. What did you want the operations of this restaurant to do for you? Well, you certainly wanted yummy and good food. You wanted to have food that was right for you. It doesn't matter whether you like a kosher diet or high protein diet, something customized to your taste. You didn't want to wait too long, and if you're like me, you didn't want to pay too much money for that. Now, the last time that you went to a hospital, ask yourself, what did you want the operations of the hospital do for you? Well, you wanted to get great care, care that was right for you, not the patient before or after you. You didn't want to wait too long, and neither you nor insurance should pay too much money for the care. Now, at the risk of offending the doctors and the nurses among you, I would argue that running a restaurant is actually very similar to running the operations of a hospital. And those are the skills that I want to teach you in this course. Now, let me backpedal just a little bit. Nothing that I will teach you will make you a great chef, and you certainly should not practice medicine on what I teach you in this course. The value proposition of this course is that you will learn how to improve the operations that lead to the dimensions of performance that we just saw in the restaurant case and in the hospital. These four dimensions are higher quality, better customization, faster service, and a more efficient service. These are the four goals of operations management. Now the word operations management has its roots in the Latin word opus. Opus means work. Thus operations management is about understanding and improving how we work. Now you might take this course because you're a doctor, a chef, a teacher, you want to improve the way that you work, or you're in the position of improving the work of others, such as executives or management consultants. This course will consist out of a set of videos that you will watch over the course of the next four weeks. There will be five homework assignments, a final exam, and an optional course project. This course is designed for students who have little or no background in operations management. Over the first offerings of this Coursera course, I've reached over 300,000 students. I've been amazed by the way that the students engaged in the platform, and I've seen amazing student projects. Freshman college student or seasoned operations management executive alike, I hope you will join me for my course.